Hi, Damon Mercia Solutions. Today we're going to look at three different ways of achieving USB pass-through in XCPNJ. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we're connected to the uh, XCPNJ. You can see we've got a uh, hypervisor here. This is a DL380 uh, Gen 10 server. Another here, so I've got several USB devices. Um, I've enabled pass-through on this uh, USB uh, 32 gig memory stick. I'll just show how that's done if I disable it first of all. We can then first of all enable this. And then once it's enabled, we have the option to go to a host. We can expand down to properties, select USB, and then here we can attach a device. So if I attach this, we'll then uh, start this device up. And when I wait for it to boot, once booted, we'll log in and we should be able to take a look at the uh, device manager and see the actual memory stick attached. Okay, so the machine's booted. And if we uh, go to device manager, send the USB, we've got USB mass storage. And if we then explore my computer, you can see now I've actually got the memory stick here attached. Again, let's explore the USB slightly more here. And storage devices. So we can see here we've got the USB uh, sand disk attached. Okay, let's uh, shut this machine down and we'll just do the same with the Windows 11. So, first things first, I'm just going to remove the USB memory stick from this uh, device. So, we'll detach it from there. Okay, and we'll go into the Windows 11, into Properties, USB, and I'm going to attach the same device. Say OK. And we'll just start this back up again. And what you can see here, we've actually got an internal error. Uh, if we go over to the notifications, you can see here it wasn't able to connect the device through to pass this through. I'd be interested if you've got any ideas on why that failed there. But rather than let this stop us, um, the third way that we can actually pass the device through is by uh, PCIe pass through. So what we'll do, if we go over to the main uh, console, move back onto the infrastructure here, we'll go over to the server and over to console. What we can do is run uh, this PC, uh, Excel PCI assignable list. And if I do an LS PCI, and we'll pass that through to grab USB. You can see here, um, this PCI device 37 I've, is actually a USB host bus adapter card. And you can see uh, it's assignable. Uh, the reason it's assignable is that we first of all have excluded this from the device. Um, so the way you would do that is by running this command. So to make the device assignable, you first of all got to block the PCI device from the main host. So by running this uh, Zen command line, set DOM zero, and then the PCI uh, pass back idle. And then here we've got uh, device 12 in brackets and device 37. Device 12 is actually a SAS interface we use elsewhere. Um, and 37 is this, uh, as you can see here, the USB controller card. So once you do that, you then need to reboot your machine. And then when the hypervisor comes back up, you should then have available the assignable uh, card. So again, under here, should be assignable. So once you've got to that stage, we then need to be able to assign that to the actual hypervisor. So in this case, the Windows 11 machine. So the way we do that is by running another command. Okay, so the command we need to run is this uh, VM set other config PCI. We then specify the adapter. So in this case, 37. Okay, so on the Windows 11, we can select the UID here. We can copy the UID then go back to the uh, console on the host and we can just paste the UID in here 
and we'll do a return. And what that's done now is actually plugged that PCI card into the Windows 11 machine. So first of all, I need to uh, remove the uh, plugged in USB device there. And okay. So now if we click on the Windows 11 machine here, and we can start this up. And we'll click through to the console. Okay, so the machine's booted. And if I go through to uh, device manager on here, and we'll scroll through, what we should then see under the universal bus, we can see we've now got the AS Media extensible controller. And if I just nip through to the lab, and I will plug the uh, card in, two seconds. Okay, so I've now plugged into the machine. the USB sand disk and I've plugged this directly into this controller card so you can now see we've now got this attached to the machine so I'm going to go over to my computer this PC you see we've got a USB drive attached okay so the third way then we come back to the USB on here what I'm going to do is just plug in a USB hard disk okay so we can now see we've got a USB hard disk attached and as this is storage, what we should see is this is a scene, is a storage device under here. As such, we should then be able to, under the storage, attach a disk. If I scroll down, you see it's not available there yet. So what we'll do is just give the server another reboot. Um, as I think because it was plugged in, it wasn't there at boot time. So it's not visible as a storage device here. So let's reboot. Okay, so the server is rebooted. I've reconnected. And if I now click on storage, we can see that I've actually got the removable hard disks now attached. It's a, a free terabyte drive. It's also listed under the USB here on this SATA interface. So what we can do with storage that's attached to the server on a machine, if I click back on the Windows 11, and if I click on the storage tab, I can then attach a disk if I scroll to the bottom here, we can see on the removable storage, I click attach. This is now plugged the uh, USB, or it's actually attached to the drive to the machine. And we can then uh, go over to the console and we'll just start this one up. Okay, it's booted, let's log in. And if we go over to uh, device manager, We can see in the disk drives, we've got another device there. I think probably the better way to see this, if I go into Disk Manager, what we can see now is I've actually got the three terabyte hard disk um, attached to the machine. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below how you've got on connecting devices to XCPNG and find the video useful. Um, feel free to hit like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.